All right, guys, so in this video, I want to discuss the current project status of both of the, kind of the second Titanics that are one of them is supposedly being built in China. The other one was kind of a mimic to the actual Titanic in 1912, basically a copy of it that was planned by Australian billionaire Clive Palmer. What is the 2023 update on these? Is one of these actually going to, you know, happen? What is the construction like? Now, the first thing when I search Titanic 2, folks, I can just recommend, please do not watch this. This is this is an absolutely horrible movie. If you are looking for like a movie like Titanic, like a a ship sinking movie, I would recommend Poseidon. Very underrated, very underrated film, not Titanic 2. That ship is just so ugly, my goodness. Uh, but that's the first thing I was met with. But guys, this is probably what most people associate with Titanic 2. It is a replica of the original Titanic. There are a few major changes. The most notable one being the extra lifeboats that you can see located right under, looks like the first class staterooms. Uh, Titanic 2, a planned ocean liner intended to be a functional modern day replica of the RMS Titanic. The new ship will have a gross tonnage, about 10,000 more than the old ship and the idea was announced back in April of 2012 with the flagship of the proposed cruise line company Blue Star Line. The intended launch date was originally set in 2016. It got delayed to 2018 and then again in 2022 and there was also a financial dispute which affected the half a billion dollar project. So this supposed second Titanic costs right around $500 million. That is an estimate. And it was planned originally in 2012. It's been delayed multiple times. You can take a look at the outline of the Titanic 2 in red versus the original RMS Titanic, which launched and sunk in 1912. Guys, we of course know the Titanic. It is the greatest ship in history. I don't, you know, people say, oh, it sunk. Yeah, but it's the most famous. It was beautiful. You take a look at the difference though. The newer one, a little bit taller than the older one. And then also there are a few different modern enhancements that the proposed Titanic 2 does have. Uh, you know, just in terms of overall fuel efficiency, they're going to have to change some things. The biggest one being an additional safety deck between C and D decks for lifeboats and marine evacuation systems. With the boat deck housing replicas of the original lifeboats, space for the deck was made by lowering D decks below by 2.8 meters and for taller center sections of the safety deck which would have housed the lifeboats. And then when it comes to the interior of the ship, it was intended to be as similar as possible to the original. And I guess I have a few different thoughts on this. When you're ta so like the idea of making a Titanic 2, let's go back to 1912. And remember the original Titanic, it was state of the art, it was total luxury. I understand and I think you could absolutely mimic the first class staterooms because they were beautiful and you could have those. But like the idea of having, it's 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 like a catch-22. You want it to look like the original, but is anyone really going to pay for a third class room if you make it the exact same as the one in 1912? I'm not really sure. I, I don't know if there would be demand for that. Maybe there would be. And then it comes like, do you bring technology into it? Do you, you know, have TVs or not? There's a lot of different things, but I do think the idea, for me, like the another Titanic, I mean, I'm all for it, to be honest. I think looking at the ship, it's so beautiful. The cruise ships today, they're disgustingly ugly. They're floating apartment buildings. If we had another Titanic, just looking at the outside of it, it would be absolutely breathtaking, but the interior, if you actually do make third-class rooms, it kind of gets like, eh, you know, would people actually pay for stuff like that? 
outside of like a one-time thing. Maybe that's all they would need because there were rumors that people were, would pay so much money to go on this. And then you do have also people saying, oh, you know, it's cursed. It's going to sing again. Of course, I mean, that's ridiculous. If I could go on this, you know, especially the first launch of it. But of course, the current project status on September 27th, 2018, the Blue Star Line in a press conference release on their official website announced that work on the project would recommence. That was after a major delay. But as of April 2023, Blue Star Line has made no updates to its website in five years. So this seems like a total dead project. I mean, the overall cost of it, half a billion dollars. If you're a billionaire, it doesn't seem like it's that crazy of an idea. You know, we see billionaires of sports teams pay for different things that cost like stadiums that they'll put up money. So it doesn't seem that crazy, but I would probably say right now, this is a dead project until we get an update that it has possibly been revived, maybe with someone else taking up the project. Of course, there also are criticisms. You know, the ship sank. There were a lot of people that died. Would you really be making another one the exact same replica, basically mimicking that tragedy? I don't think that really holds much personally because it's the idea of remembering the Titanic and I don't know, I think it'd be cool, you know, but that is the current situation on that. In September of 2022, a London-based financial site contacted Blue Star Line for a status update, but received no response. So Blue Star Line has not updated anyone on this project since September of 2018. And that's well before the pandemic, well before anything. So it looks like the Titanic 2, which is a replica, which was set to sail first in 2016, then in 2018, then in 2022. And we don't even have any type of construction laid out for this thing until it gets revived right now. I think it has to be considered a dead project. And then take a look at that. That's a little model of a potential modern version of the Titanic. So they tried to make the Titanic basically like a modern cruise ship. That is absolutely disgusting. It, it re Like, these cruise ships are just so ugly, man. I understand you want the balcony, you want to have the pool on the roof, but that doesn't mean it's going to look nice. I can still say it's ugly, and I understand the whole thing. Going on a cruise ship is fun. I get it. But listen, I'm just going to be honest. It is really ugly. There's nothing else you can say. This thing... It's just ugly. It is ugly to look at. This is not what we need. This is a possible design if they were to take the Titanic and make it more modern. This is not the Clive Palmer design to where he wants a complete replica, but just with replacing certain things to make it, you know, you have to replace certain things from 1912. You can't have the same engines. You can't have the, the lack of lifeboats and things like that. And obviously the whole lifeboat thing, that was very common back in the early 1900s to not have the correct number of lifeboats. If they had more lifeboats, it would have saved more people. But they actually, when it comes to the Titanic, it was hard to get people onto the lifeboats early on during the ship's sinking uh, because people would rather stay on the big, luxurious, warm ship then go out in, you know, 40 degree weather in the Atlantic Ocean. So, I mean, you know, there's just a lot of misconceptions and things like that. But let's get to the other potential Titanic replica that is currently sitting in a Chinese shipyard rusting. And the last update we got on that was in April of 2021. And I will show everyone the update photos. You can take a look at them right there. These were shared by the Chinese website. And the original project, the unsinkable Titanic, which was announced back in 2013, which was announced back in 2014, had much fanfare and a press conference in Hong Kong featured the top name Chinese celebrities uh, as well as other people taking part in the event. Unlike Titanic 2, this full-scale replica won't go anywhere. A hotel and entertainment complex rather than a cruise ship the replica luxury liner will be docked permanently in a reservoir within a river in China. A far less complex build than Titanic 2, the static unsinkable Titanic is also much cheaper. The whole thing will cost would have cost right around 90 million dollars 
Of course, Titanic 2 costing $500 million. So the idea is it would just kind of sit in a reservoir, and, and, and while it will not be a 100% exact replica, uh, they're aiming to get it as close to the original as possible. But again, guys, when it comes to even this Chinese knockoff version of it, there has not been a single update that I have seen since 2021. UK newspapers reported in August of 2021 that the ship had been abandoned and we'll have to see what that, wow, so that, that is not a good development there. This possibly just rusting right now in a Chinese shipyard and you can kind of see uh, this one kind of a gimmick version of it that won't even go anywhere. It's just going to kind of sit and, you know, they're going to try and make it as close to the original as possible, but again... We haven't received an update in, at this point, go really over two years at this point. So, this kind of reminds me of China actually has a mega project that's happening right now, or supposedly is happening. They're trying to build this massive soccer stadium that's going to seat 100,000 people, and construction abruptly stopped on it due to the pandemic. And it's this whole thing with China, you can just get no information out of China. Like, I, I don't even know what's happening with the project. There hasn't been a single update on the construction of this stadium since 2021. It's very hard to get information out of China, but the latest we have on the knockoff version that's going to supposedly sit in a reservoir. Uh, this is currently rusting as is. Maybe they built up a little bit more. There's been no other shared photos other than these that I am seeing on the internet, and these are from 2021. Now, what is the future of a potential Titanic 2? Will it happen? I think inevitably it, po it probably will happen, but it's probably going to be some type of revived... Maybe it won't be uh, Clive Palmer's model. Maybe it, maybe it would be more of like a replica type where it just really sits at a dock or something like the Chinese one. Uh, I just don't know what is the overall market for people wanting to travel on it. I mean, I certainly would, but, you know, in general... There's a lot of people that would say, listen, if there's like, if it's like the 1912 version, if there's limited, like the idea is, do you put TVs in it? You know, like, cause I don't think they would have done that. And people are going to be angry about that. Uh, that might limit it a little bit. I I'm just saying in general, there are so many people that are slaves to technology now and things like that. It could turn a lot of people off and really uh, affect the overall demand of the ship depending on what they do. It's like you want it to be top luxury, uh, but you also want it to be the exact same idea, you know, going back to 1912 and make it as realistic as possible. So both of these projects at this point, until we get an update in China, I mean, they built half of it. So what is it doing? Just rusting? Is, is it an abandoned construction site? I, I would presume that's what it is until we get another update on the uh, unsinkable Titanic, which is what it's called. That is the project in China. And then the Titanic 2, which is the actual replica that was supposed to sail. That one, it seems like a complete dead project. Construction never began on it. It was supposed to happen, begin in 2012. Uh, then they delayed it. They delayed it again. And it still is in the quote-unquote planning stage. There's been no update from Blue Starline for five years now. So I think it is fair to call it a dead project. But guys, that is the latest on the potential replica Titanics. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.